M0FXB, welcome to my channel. Just want to show you how easy it is to do the firmware on an RT99 or a Vero N7500. I've downloaded the app which is called HT. I've paired it by pushing the on off button twice just here and as soon as it turned on it went I would like to download the firmware update. It's doing a data transfer now. We're about 17% and we'll just wait and uh, transfer the data and then we will fully control this radio VHF, UHF, 50 watts and so many more functions including broadcast radio we'll fully control it using a smartphone, a tablet, even a network radio it's got a speaker microphone or you can buy a Bluetooth one looks like that you can buy like a hand Bluetooth one that looks more like the end of this. And they're just great fun to use. I use them all the time. This one's for the car. I'm going to try and pair it to the car audio, which I'm pretty sure you can. You can Bluetooth the speaker and the microphone to your smartphone, to your walkie-talkie. You know, there's so much you can do with it. This one was uh, bought from that special promotion where they're doing them for $79.99 delivered. So I literally couldn't say no to it. Uh, normally, you can add a hundred pound. So yeah, I have lots of fun using this uh, in in a while. I'll just once it's all updated, I'll tag a video of me using it at the end at the end of this video. There you are. It's working great now. Signal coming through there from Hubnet. Let's see if we can reply to him. M zero FXB. Yeah, working fine. And we can hit the map button. Here, you get the map, and then there's just loads of settings, like so. Got quite a few different settings menu, different connections, even APRS down there, look. Settings up here. Can you give me a Yeah, Roger, it's not super clear, but you are making it. What device are you using? Let's go back to the app. There's the app HT. So check it out. I've made a ton of videos using this system. Bye for now, 7-3.